Survive till 2025. I want to talk about what's going to take place over the next couple years as we see the death of the U.S. dollar solidified by what just took place in Congress and President Joe Biden raising the debt limit, no cap for the next two years. At a minimum, we're going to raise the debt four trillion. We have a hundred trillion plus of unfunded liabilities. Our country is bankrupt, bust. We're losing our credibility on the world stage. And what's about to take place? is going to be devastating to the average American family, those who have a 401k retirement plan, those who have some real estate, those who have a business. We gotta break this down and you guys under, gotta understand what just got solidified by them raising the debt limit. Let's break this down. So what we're going to continue to see, record inflation, a recession, you're going to see a weaponized regulatory environment, you're gonna see internal chaos within this country while we continue to be embarrassed on the world stage and this is all going to lead to a continued de-dollarization process. Now, of course, this is being done by design and who is to blame, why is this being done is for a separate video. I wanna highlight what the regular average American can do to make sure that they survive and thrive during this time. So first off, we've gotta make sure that we secure our income. We are experiencing uh, better than expected job numbers, but remember they're paper overing, they're using statistical manipulation to cover up the real recession that's taking place and the inflation that isn't going away. Remember, the preferred inflation gates, core PCE, just ticked back up for the first time since October 2022. So we were starting to bring inflation down based off their CPI lie, their manipulated data, but the core inflation gauge, because it's the most manipulated, that's why they prefer it, side point, but I digress. That has started to tick back up for the first time since October 2022. So they are not beating inflation. Inflation is not going away. So we got to secure our income, make sure that we're not going to lose our job, not going to have to turn the key on our business. And then next, if possible, expand our income. We know inflation is not going away, so you're going to need that additional income. Next, what are we going to be saving? Should you be saving U.S. dollars? Well, I like saving capital so that I can deploy it for buying assets, businesses. I got a lot right now on the sidelines for real estate. But as far as my savings account, it's precious metals and it's in the form of silver. Now you guys can get some uh, precious metals from my website linked up down below. If you guys need to stack some metals, we can help facilitate that. If you need to roll over your 401k, we can help facilitate that as well. But I am saving real money. That is silver, that is gold, precious metals for your savings account. Next. What did I talk about? Getting liquid for the sale of a lifetime. All assets are gonna be going on sale as we continue to experience a recession, uh, record inflation, times are gonna to get tough. People are gonna be looking for an exit out of their business. People are gonna be looking to sell or offload their real estate. This is going to be the sell of a lifetime. For those of us that are prepared, we get liquid and we're ready to make deals. We can really take advantage of this opportunity, the greatest transfer of wealth in world history. God bless you.